Hey everyone, CPM here. Today we're going to take a look at six silver coins from around the world. Just a disclaimer, these are not the only six silver coins that you can get from around the world, but these are the one that I have access to from my local coin shops. The point of this video here is to kind of give people who is going into um, bullion investment and you know, like where do we start? When I first start out on this bullion journey, um, you know, my, my heart's kind of all over the place. You know, like whenever, whenever I see a discount, you know, certain bullion coins, I'll be like, oh my God, I, I gotta go and get those. So I, I had no focus. You know, as, as an investor, you really want to plan accordingly, right? You don't want to just splurge just because the coin looks nice. Uh, you don't want to splurge just because, you know, there is, there's a new product on the market. Uh, you know, there, there's something that you, you want to put some thoughts around when you want to invest in these type of coins. I, I want to kind of walk you through these six different coins here in terms of the details, the designs, some of the security features. I know some of the coins more than the other, so forgive me if I'm not very articulating on some of the coins. One thing also to note is two of these six coins are due for refresh in 2021. When I say refresh, it just means it's a, there's going to be a new design on it, whether it's new security feature or just a new look and feel. But anyways, if you can get your hands on these six coins, good for you. But also just a disclaimer, these there, there are more coins out there in the world. For example, the Mex Mexican Lipperdads, uh, the Chinese Pandas, those I don't have access to. Uh, and it's those are really, really rare to come by here in Ontario, Canada. So without further ado, let's go through each of the coins. Um, let me show you the details and the designs. And then, you know, at the end of the video, tell me what you think you uh, about these coins. This m must be one of those that you really, really like within the design and the security feature and you want to own these. Okay, so let's start with the, the Australians uh, from down under. So out of these six coins, second to the Canadian silver maple leaf, this is I would say my favorite coins out of the six for several good reasons. Um, one, this coin is massive. Uh, if I remember, it's, it's like 39 millimeter in diameter, uh, if not wider, uh, maybe just by a tad bit. Uh, it's comparable to the American Silver Eagles. I think the American Silver Eagles is also a big coins uh, to hold in your hand. So when you hold this, you know, has a great feel to it. Obviously, kangaroos being the, you know, the national symbols from, from Australia, obviously they will put that here on their coin. Similar to the maple leaf national symbol for Canada, we'll have that on our coin. But, you know, the, the kangaroo coin, you know, out of the six here, kangaroo is the second coin that also has a purity of four nines. You know, security wise, Australian loves, uh, their metals as well. They are one of the largest producers of, you know, precious silver, me uh, precious metals. Sorry, in uh, in the world. So obviously, they put a lot of thoughts and efforts into crafting their coin. So you can see we have the hopping kangaroos with um, this radiant sun ray in in the background, and then in the outer rim here, you can see the the wavy design. Um, I believe these are all security features. And if you want to take a closer look, I don't think my camera can pick it up here, but the A, the letter A, in the first letter A in the word kangaroo uh, actually has a laser micro engraving in it. Um, I'm sorry, I can't show you this on, a, on camera. If you have a microscope or a, you know, magnifying glasses, you'll be able to see it, but there is a, a tiny laser edge letter within the letter A itself. So the Australian silver coin here uh, is definitely a beauty. Uh, on the back here, we have the Queen Majesty herself. The nominal value for this coin is one Australian dollar. So similar design from the front is carried to the back. The outer rim has the wavy design uh, with a matte finished background uh, and a polished surface on the Queen's face. Beautiful coin, love this one to death. I actually have this put in the capsule 
just kind of you know preserve the the conditions of it. My my goal here, um, you know, as a collector, not necessarily a you know a, a bullion investor. I would like to collect the kangaroo every single year for the rest of my life. Uh, one or two, so not it's not going to be a huge investment. My focus is still on the uh, the Canadian silver maple leaf. That will be my my investment grade coin. All right, so hopefully you like this one. Let's move on to the next. So the next one we're gonna go to is the Silver Britannia from the Royal Mint in the UK. So I've done a unboxing video for this one comparing to the Canadian Silver Maple Leaf. Um, it's a beautiful coin as well in, in my opinion. Uh, you know, this coin has been around for I would say at least 20 years. So the design has been the same. Um, this is one of the one of the two coins in this pile that I'm going through here with you. Uh, that's actually going through a redesign. Some you may be able to see it on on YouTube somewhere already. Uh, the coin itself is going through um, a refresh from a security feature. Uh, we still have our Lady Britannia on the reverse side of the coin, um, as you can see, holding her trident and her giant shield on her, on her right hand. I, I'll post a picture somewhere here on the video so you can kind of compare a 2020s Silver Britannia versus the 2021 Silver Britannia. Um, and you can see for yourself. I, I love the 2021, but 2020 is no slouch for sure. So once I get the 2021, I'll I'll definitely make a video and share with you folks. Um, but I mean, look at the details here. Beautiful. And the back here again, we have the Queen Majesty herself. Again, the design, the the weaving patterns on the background carry from the front to the back. And he has this teeth design along the edge it gives it much more character so the the silver britannia has a nominal value of two pounds just so for your information okay let's keep moving the next coin i want to show you here is the silver harmonic it's not a very popular coins by in my opinion, uh, at least when, whenever you are in North America, when people are talking about, oh, do you invest in bullion silver coins? Typically, the two that comes up are the American Silver Eagle and the Canadian Maple Leaves. But in the European nations, the Austrian Philharmonic silver coin is definitely one of the most popular ones. Uh, again, coin has a purity of three nines. I don't believe they actually you know, have that on the writing here, um, but it has 1.5 euro, one and a half euro as the nominal value for the year 2020. You can see design of the Philharmonic and we the reverse side here. So th there's actually no face of any uh, authority figures or royal family. Um, but again, this is from Austria. You can see all the music instruments in the design. So this one is, um, there is there's no matte finish in any of the surfaces. It's just shiny all around. Um, I mean, if you take a look at the side of the coin, it doesn't even have any grips. Like most of the silver coins that you will find is just a very polished finished surface you know it's I would say out of all the coins here this is probably one of the smallest one but it makes up in the thickness if you're a music buff who loves classical music you know this Philharmonic silver coin is definitely one to get All right, let's move on. The next one is 
the popular silver coin called the Krugerrand from Africa. So African nations for their metal mining is also very, very famous in around the world. The Krugerrand 2020, this design has been around also for many, many years. The purity again is three nines, just like most of the other coins. Now, the, I don't think there's a whole lot of security features to kind of talk about here, but you know, just looking at the the animal here, it's the detail is just phenomenal. One ounce Krugerrand. They also have the gold Krugerrand as well. So actually, most of the coins here has a gold versions that's associated with it. Not a whole lot of security feature. For animal lovers, this is one to get. Maybe second to the, the kangaroo. I don't know. What do you think? Do you like the Krugerrand or do you like the kangaroos from down under? All right, let's move on. I'm a bit embarrassed to say I only have recently picked up my first silver eagle. I was always hesitant to to get my hands on one of these, but for the video, I do want to showcase this one for the year 2020. This is the second coin in this batch here, and the, the final coin that's actually going through a redesign uh, for 2020. So again, this is the 2020, and I'll post a picture right here to show you what the 2021 version will look like. It's actually a complete redesign, and uh, I think the it's actually very majestic. They are using their national symbol, their gold, the the eagles, and uh, I think it's very very beautiful. So for the American silver eagle, again, has been around for many years as well, uh, definitely more than a decade or two. We have the the Liberty Lady Liberty uh, on the front here. You see. Again, not a whole lot of security feature. I mean, it depends on how close you look at you know, the details on the flags with the stars, the the bush or the plants that the, the lady is holding in God we trust. You can even see the, the lines in the dress. So the detail is no slouch either. This is one of the most popular points in around the world. Anywhere you go, uh, this will be accepted from any of the the coin dealers, uh, precious metal dealers, you name it. Uh, again, this is also one of the big coin, big, big coin. I think it goes almost 40 millimeters in diameter. So the nominal value here is one American dollars with their bold eagles in the back. Right. Also, one of the reasons that I didn't pick this one up until recently is just that, you know, compared to all the other coins, the American Silver Eagle has a bigger, bigger margin. Um, when I say margin, just markups, right? Like spot plus markups. The markups for this, this one here versus something that I can get locally, uh, the, the maple leaf, there is a couple dollar difference. And I think also because Canadian dollar from a currency exchange standpoint also has, it's also a weaker dollar compared to the American Eagles, sorry, American dollar. So that's why, you know, it, we also have to pay a bit more higher premium, so to speak. So. See this coin, you can flip like this to get to the, to the, the other side. Most of the other coin is a horizontal flip. Anyways, let's move on. This video is getting kind of long. So we're going to go to the last coin, my favorite coin, Canadian Maple Leaf Silver Coin. So last but not least, and this is also the one I know about the most. Um, the Canadian Maple, Maple Leaf Coins have been around also for a couple of decades now. Um, the last refresh is more of a security refresh uh, back in 2017. 
We have the mint shield to kind of prevent from milk spotting. You know, like the, the coin itself has also has laser engraving features on the this tiny maple leaf to my right thumb here. So I'm gonna try and go in as close as my camera can focus. But you can see this, we have this big maple leaf with you know all the grains and details in there. Uh, but the small maple leaves here, within that small maple leaf has the, has another tiny maple leaf. You can if you can see it. These are all laser engraved. The cool part about this is uh, under microscope you can actually see the number twenty on the tiny tiny maple leaf in there. The number twenty just signifies the year. Um, so I guess next year will be twenty twenty one. So you can see a twenty one within it. Apologies again, my camera cannot focus that well, uh, but it does show you the security feature within itself. So Canadian maple leaf was famous for their milk spotting back in the day. Uh, with the mint shield, um, that problem has virtually gone away. But again, I don't think it's 100% guaranteed that there will be no milk spotting. I mean, it's silver. Oxidation can, can do weird things to it, could tarnish it. But remember, don't wash your coin. Uh, any type of toning that you get on the on the coin, natural toning of course, not a, not men made. Uh, natural toning is adds value to your to your collection. Again, this is an investment grade coin. This is not a numismatic coin, so don't worry too much about the investment grade coin. Just keep them in good condition. Put them in the, keep them in the tubes, and keep it away from uh, humid conditions, and I think you'll be fine. So this is the last coin here. Let me know which one do you like the most. I'll, I'll touch a little bit just before we wrap up the video. I just want to touch a little bit on, you know, out of these six coins, what am I going to do with them going forward? Again, these are investment grade coins. I don't intend to buy tubes and tubes of them uh, from time to time again. You know, like from f f the collector inside of me said that you know it's good to keep track of. These popular ones uh, from year to year, if there's you know refresh, redesign, it's definitely worth you know keeping track of the changes. You know, next year I'll be able to kind of show you the 2021 American Silver Eagle and the 2021 Britannia. Show them side by side, see what the differences are. So those are interesting details to kind of capture. But really, from an investment standpoint, my focus will still be on the silver maple leaves just because I'm in Canada, I'm supporting Canada, um, you know, our mint produces amazing products and I think if you're Canadians, you know, support local, local Canadian products. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you like it, subs if you love it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks, bye!